Hey, this is Josh Cohen from Tilzy TV here with Yuri Barnovsky, Justin Morrison, and Dashiell Reinhardt of the internet sitcom Break a Leg. He wants to tell me about how the series came to be and how you all met. So we all met through, we, we've known each other from, from high school. I know Justin from college. We, they're both filmmakers, I'm a writer. Uh, we decided we sh shot a film first, a full length uh, indie film that we haven't finished yet. But, uh, but we will. But we will. And uh, we, there's a contest for FX, uh, for MySpace. MySpace was doing an FX contest for um, a five minute sitcom of your own making. And so we had the cast and the crew from the movie and we were like, let's just do this for the hell of it. My brother and I had an idea already, so we wrote the script, we shot it, and one day... And we won. And we won, and that's why we're on FX right now. <laughs> uh, we, we didn't win at all, but uh, there were message boards for the contest, and a lot of people were really pushing for us to win to the point of they were emailing FX and saying, like, how could you not choose Break a Leg? And we realized that we have something that really got a rise out of people, so we made a full episode, which did well, pretty well. We made a second episode, which really kind of <clears throat> broke out, and we met Free Your Imagination, which is where we are now. Uh, and take, okay. What's the premise of the show? <laughs> it's, uh, was I boring you, Josh? <laughs> it was, uh, the show is about a writer who I play, David Penn, who gets a sitcom picked up in a strange Hollywood type of world where children actors live in the sewers and things like that. And uh, David is also going to die at the end of the season, which is what you learn in the first episode. And so we just follow his slow, all right, relax. <laughs> and we follow his slow journey to his death. Now you can have it. Thank you. So some of the things that go on in your series are a little uh, off the beaten path, a little, um, what's a good word for it? Strange. Strange. How did you guys decide on the type of content matter that you're choosing and how to take the story in those ways? Our trailer we made for the show um, didn't really involve too much uh, surrealism. I don't know what you guys were on when you decided to write the rest of the script, but it turned into I, children attacking people from the sewers. And um, I think what I think one one of the things is well, first of all, we're both a fan of kind of we want we like the surreal thing, my brother and I. But the other thing is also that we wanted to pull away from the biggest thing we got is like this is exactly like Arrested Development. So we wanted to pull ourselves away from that a little bit and and make a world that since we didn't really know about the Hollywood world, we made our own, which was more interesting and fun and kind of made it a almost a science fiction story in a way. So aside from the surrealism, what kind of separates you from other episodic content available on the web? That's a good question, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think that, well, first of all, we have a full show. That's, it's, it has acts, it has a script, it has arcs that we, we've planned for, for at least, you know, I mean, 22 episodes, like a, se like a real season. Uh, we really tried to make it like a real show. Besides that, it's filmed as, as professional as we can get it. It's shot in high definition. It's we try to shoot like we're shooting on TV, and if, as if we have a budget, which we don't. Is that your goals for the show, to get a budget? It really, I mean, it depends on the situation, and it depends on like, just the nature of the medium, and we're very adaptive to that, which is something we've been kind of utilizing from it. But we'll, it, we'll see where it, it goes, but we're basically open to what would make it possible for us to do it as something we could do as a career, or just something that would support us without us having to do it as a a side project, something that we could fund, actually fund the show and be able to show everyone, like our audience. Yeah, if we can get enough money to make the show on the internet, like not a thousand dollars an episode like most web shows get, but a real TV budget, then yeah, we, we'll, we'd stay on the internet. We take off our clothes. <laughs> I already do. <laughs> he already does. Where can we find all of your content online? Uh, you can find it on breakaleg.tv. Or you could also find it on YouTube, but you could also find it. The, the best quality and the most interaction with us is on breakaleg.tv. Break a leg. Thanks, guys. You know what the best idea was? Mm -hmm. Is to interview us when everyone is drunk, including the host, <laughs> yeah. is drunk. It's good. It's, it's, a good it's a good start. This is literally